Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, you've seen the title, 99% of golfers should strongly consider this driver advice. I think if you get this right, you could add, well, put it this way, John added about 16, 17 yards to his game and there was no technique involved. So let's get into today's video. Three points you should strongly, strongly consider. Now, obviously here on the channel, I see all your comments about driver and because we're powered by the viewers, I wanna help you out. Now, this is not a normal driver video. Listen up. So I see this all the time. Most of us make life hard for ourselves. I want you to get down in those comments down below what driver spec you're using from the shaft to the head to the loft, okay? First thing I want you to consider, and the first thing that I've got written down here is loft, loft on our driver, okay? So as a nice simple rule of thumb, the slower your swing speed, the more loft you're gonna wanna have to help get that ball in the air. Nice, simple rule of thumb. The faster your swing speed, the lower loft of driver that you can use. So think about this. If you know you're a golfer with a slower swing speed, have a think about that loft as our first point. Here we go. Let's see if we can uh, give this one a smack down the fairway. It makes life so much easier and you can optimize that launch to get a little bit more distance. Now, most modern day drivers have the option to potentially loft up and loft down. So all I do is, is put my key in the top, give it a twist and maybe select a degree up to start with, see if you see a difference and then maybe go a little bit more. And if it's going too high, you can then rein it back. Nice and simple, slower swing speed, more loft is gonna help you hit it a little bit further. Let's get into number two. Next on our list is the driver shaft, right? This thing, this is our workhorse. So I wanna talk about length. Most of us probably don't know this, and I actually didn't know this until I started caddying out on tour, that driver shafts for the pros are shorter, okay? Maybe about half an inch shorter. Now, yes, okay, those guys are fortunate enough to create crazy club head speeds, but there's a reason. They're more likely to find the middle and are more likely to control the face. Think about this logically. You find it a little bit easier to control your pitching wedge than you do your five iron. So I don't want you to go down this route of most manufacturers these days add loads of length to that shaft to help you create a lot more speed. But what I want you to think about here is maybe getting it a little bit shorter, half an inch, an inch shorter, to give you a much better chance of controlling that club face, right? Next, all to do with shaft here, or on point number two, is the stiffness, right? If your golf shaft, and think about it right now, are you seeing this happen when you're hitting your shots? If your golf shaft is too stiff for you, you're gonna be hitting a low ball flight that tends, for a right-hander, to squeeze a little bit off to the right. Again, not maximizing your carry. I'm putting on the side of the screen here, you might just wanna pause this and have a little bit of a look on what I would sort of give as a recommendation to your driver swing speed to what shaft you should use. It's only a rough guide, but something that I think could really help optimize how much, well, distance you can hit it. Okay, let's hit one other one away here. I couldn't have chosen a harder hole here, by the way. This is the 15th at Mottram Hall, water all down the left. Oh, we don't want that back. That is a nice hit. The wind's on it a bit there. Right, okay, point number three. How you set up to driver, because you could have all that stuff correct, but if you're not set up, you're just not promoting a good shot. Now, if you have made any changes to your driver, or you are gonna, let me know what you're gonna do. I'll get down in those comments and give you a little bit of a personal advice. So don't forget to get down in those comments. So nice and simple, let's go to the face-on perspective here. What are we looking for? 30 seconds more of your time. You're gonna put your feet together. You're gonna turn your left toe out, move your right foot away, and you're gonna look to look at the back or the underneath of your golf ball. And you can see this on player cam view here. I'm just sort of, getting a little bit of tilt to help me hit it on the up. Thanks so much for watching today. I know you're gonna drive it way further with that simple advice.